This is a biblical war. Good first. The trailer for the much-awaited Season 4 of the diabolical anti-superhero drama series, The Boys, has finally been released, and it has already started to get the fans excited. The brief footage in the trailer makes it abundantly clear that The Boys is all set to get bloodier and more twisted than ever before. And the world seems to be on the brink of chaos as people are divided on blinded worship of the superheroes and treating them as fascist, power-hungry individuals. However, one more thing that grabbed everyone's attention in the trailer is the return of Black Noir, the mysterious superhero who seems to have returned from the dead. In this video, we will explore all the possibilities around his return and what it means for the upcoming season. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. What happened to Black Noir in Season 3? Black Noir's appearance in the trailer comes as a surprise because of his tragic fate in the Season 3 finale. After a chilling confrontation with Homelander, Black Noir had his guts ripped out by the demented superhero, and he seemingly fell to his death. The graphic details of the scene had left the viewer shocked because you could see gallons of blood gushing out of his body after his intestines are pulled out by Homelander. In an emotional goodbye sequence, you could even see the imaginary cartoon character characters inside Black Noir's head bidding him farewell. And there was not much speculation regarding his revival because he seemed decisively dead. Did Black Noir's incredible healing abilities do the trick? Black Noir has been shown to be one of the most trusted and valuable members of the Seven, and even Homelander seemed to respect his presence on most occasions. Not only was Black Noir unusually powerful, but he also showed signs of a mind-blowing regenerative ability where he healed faster than everyone else. There has been an instance where his skull was cracked open by Soldier Boy, and he still managed to survive. Although his death scene in Season 3 seemed irreversible, you never know the true extent of his healing powers. There is a chance that he managed to come back to life even after his intestines were pulled out and he lay on the floor bleeding. What if Vought played a key role in bringing him back? Although we cannot rule out his regenerative abilities playing a major role in bringing him back, there might be some external factors involved that helped him back up on his feet, even after his near-death experience. Vought International always seemed to value Black Noir and the superhero team, and the organization might have pulled its resources to experiment on him in order to bring him back to life. It's quite likely that after their initial treatment, his healing abilities took over, and Black Noir was back as you see him in the trailer. The intervention of Vought can also take things in another direction. If you consider the fact the Sinister Organization might now use Black Noir as their effective tool, the new version of Black Noir might be completely under their control, functioning as a puppet. This will be a considerable improvement from the original Black Noir, who was somewhat unpredictable and difficult to control at times. Is Black Noir immortal? This does sound like a very tempting option given how remarkable the circumstances are surrounding his revival. But Black Noir is actually not immortal. Even in the comic books, there are no instances of his immortality. And in fact, he is shown as an evil clone of Homelander in the comics. If this narrative is adapted in the show as well, there is a chance that Vought might have processed Homelander's clone in the Black Noir suit. And this is the one you see in the trailer. Irrespective of that, Black Noir is not really immortal. And even though his longevity is unquestionable, it's not forever. What if it's someone else in Black Noir's suit? You have to be living in denial if you think it's not possible that someone new has taken on the familiar suit and is now posing as Black Noir after his death. He is the most easily replaceable character in the show because he doesn't have a voice and his face is never revealed. It could be anyone inside the suit, actually. And there's no way to tell if this is the original Black Noir who was killed by Homelander. Vought has access to a solid collection of superheroes and it wouldn't be too much trouble for them to find someone effective enough to slip into the shoes of Black Noir. We have to remember that Vought and the Seven have a public image to maintain, and keeping this in mind, it is not an unreasonable decision from their end to replace Black Noir quickly before people notice his absence from the team. 
Did Homelander kill an imposter? One of the easiest ways for Black Noir to be back in action is if he was never killed in the first place. Yeah, it obviously seemed like there was no way for him to survive when Homelander pulled his guts out after impaling him with his hands. But what if the one Homelander killed was not Black Noir at all? This is a plausible option, especially if bot officials anticipated something like this could happen and kept Black Noir away from Homelander. They may have served him an easy target as a decoy, an individual in the familiar Black Noir suit who helplessly died while Black Noir was away. Is Black Noir stronger and swifter than before? Is it a robot in the suit? Black Noir has always been someone with amazing fight skills, but a brief glimpse of the character in the trailer suggests that things have gotten even better. He's moving around like an agile cheetah during his brief fight scene, and his moves seem to be a lot more calculated and controlled. This brings in the possibility of a robot or a cybernetic human inside the suit, who functions like a computer and is nearly flawless. If Vought has actually intervened in the whole process of bringing back Black Noir, it's not unthinkable that they replaced him with a robotic version. How will Black Noir's return impact Homelander? Whatever little we have seen of Black Noir so far suggests that he has not shifted allegiances and is still fighting as one of the members of the Seven. He is shown to be fighting against the Butcher, and he will, in all likelihood, fight the members of the anti-superhero team in the upcoming season. But this also means that he will eventually interact with Homelander once again. And wouldn't that be an awkward moment? Especially if Homelander was not kept in the loop about his potential comeback. It's not a tough guess that Season 4 or it will see Homelander descend further into madness, and Black Noir's return might be a reason behind his increased insanity. You also cannot rule out the possibility of another clash between the two, and expect Black Noir to fight back better than before, because surely he wouldn't go down like a sack of potatoes like the last time. Do let us know in the comments below about your thoughts on the upcoming season of The Boys, and also tell us what you feel about Black Noir returning to action, what according to you is the reason behind his comeback, and what made it possible. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.